Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what's device 3 and why it's so widely used in Zephyr DOS. So let's start. Let's start from the beginning. What's device 3? Device 3 is a data structure used in embedded systems to describe hardware components of a general device. This makes it easier for developers to configure and manage hardware elements like CPUs, peripherals and more. There are four different kinds of device tree files. We have source, include, overlay and last but not the least, binding files. Now you're wondering how they can be used in Zephyr and what are the differences between all of them. When you create your first Zephyr project, you will see a lot of these files inside the project folders and most likely it could be hard to understand where all these device tree files are located, especially if you are new to Zephyr. So let's start describing include device tree files. The Zephyr official documentation says .etsi files describe the CPU or system chip Zephyr runs on. They can also describe other common other features shared by multiple boards. So we can say that these are the most general device 3 files that you can find in Zephyr. An include file is composed by nodes and each of them have properties which describe the specific node. Additionally, a node can be named in two different ways. There is the label, that's optional, and the node name. Here an example of how to get device tree node information and how to use them in Zephyr application. The properties I mentioned before are all defined in binding files. Basically, these are YAML files where you can declare your own property, indicating type, description, if it's required or not, and so on. Then we have sources. These device tree files are more board specific, which are located in DTS boards. Thanks to them, you can add or edit properties based on specific board features. If you want to create your own Zephyr app, you may think to enable, disable, add or remove properties to specific device tree node. To do that, you can use the overlays. You can add one or more overlays in your app and specify the right one at building time. Thank you for watching, that's the end of the video, so see you guys, bye!